In a previous video, I mentioned how I experience symptoms associated with plantar fasciitis or heel pain usually once a year, sometimes more often. It just kind of depends on what's going on in my life. And I can tell you that while I don't believe we know the exact cause or mechanism of exacerbating plantar fasciitis, I can tell you what I do to help cure my plantar fasciitis when it flares up. It's a combination of what I do for my immune system, what I do for my hormonal system, and what I do for the inflamed tissue itself. Part one, the inflamed tissue. Like that's the easiest thing to address, although I don't believe that that actually cures the problem. I usually do a combination of some cross fiber massage, uh, whether I do it with my fingers or I do it with a golf ball, or sometimes I'll use a soda pop can that's, you know, right out of the fridge, nice and cold, unopened. Uh, and I'll do some massage, but anything that manipulates the tissue of the plantar fascia, the connective tissue surrounding the joints of the, the foot and lower ankle, and even some rolling pin massage on the calf and the lateral aspects of the lower leg will contribute to symptom reduction. It just makes things feel better. And then of course, some corrective exercises like some toe mobility exercises, which I can share in a separate video, um, all of these things do provide an acute beneficial response, reducing the symptoms. But then bigger picture is since for me, for my body, I find that the plantar fasciitis symptoms tend to exacerbate when my immune system or my hormonal system is affected by something. I do tend to look at, okay, what am I doing nutritionally? Now I tend to eat a pretty good diet. I try to cook everything from scratch. I love cooking. It's a hobby of mine. But I know that like all of us, there are times that we get a little bit short on time. We get a little bit lazy in the kitchen. We don't cook as much as we should. So from a nutritional perspective, I try to clean up my diet, whatever that means to you, because we all have different definitions of a clean diet. Um, I don't normally supplement, but occasionally I'll look at the research and I will do some omega-3 supplementation. I might increase my vitamin D supplementation, especially if it's winter and I'm not getting enough sunlight. Um, and then I might do some gelatin-based protein, however you choose to get it. Ideally, I'll get it through more crock pot stews, but if I can't do that, there are some powder supplements on the market that seem to do a great job. And then from a hormonal perspective, I try to focus on my sleep, make sure that I'm sleeping as much as I feel like I need to. I'll try to do things to manage my stress, maybe improve my mindfulness. And I really find that within a week or two of making these lifestyle modifications, I almost always can resolve the plantar, fascia, plantar fasciitis symptoms that have been affecting me until you know, the next time that I kind of get too busy, life gets ahead of me and I flare up the symptoms again.